What's up everyone? My name is J Matt. I'm here to show you my Lexus GX460. What's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in. This is your boy J Matt. This is going to be my first YouTube video and my walk around for the Lexus GX460. After the series of events for 2022, I figured I'd be able to do a video for you guys so you can see all the details and the hard work that's been put into this build. So let's go for a little walk around. I'll start from the front to the back and continue on to the miscellaneous things. So here's the front. Again, this is a 2021 Lexus GX460. This is the C4 Fabrications Overland Series prototype bumper, along with the C4 full skid from front to rear. And in the bottom, you'll see DR KDSS components along with that spindle bracket with the Baja S1. The whole vehicle is equipped with Baja Designs lights, Squadron Pros, S830 inch, carbon fiber hood, not a wrap, that's a hood. If we keep going up, we'll see the decals by Graphics Lab. We'll go to the side here. This is the Ghost Antenna by Midland USA. LP4s, S1. There's an on X6, 40 inch. We'll go to the side here. The wheels. These are the all new Rays VV21SX in the gray gunmetal finish, along with the new Toyo Tires RT Trail 2. I love these tires. They're nice and quiet on the highway, and they're pretty good here on the dirt. So if we move forward, you'll see I have King Suspension, Inspired Overland Adjustable Billet Control Arms. Back to the wheel. QEI Lug Nuts. Thank you Mackin Industries for that. Let's go to more of the side profile of the vehicle. The whole livery is Good Small Racing Japan. This is a racing livery, overland inspired with the colorway. We have C4 fabrication sliders. These are also custom for the GX460. Wells visors wrapped. Hey, shout out to Track Nation. Here's a, some cam floodlights. S2s on the JW roof rack. Centauri 270 bat wing awning. We have the action tracks with the metal teeth in tan. One of my favorite mods right there, the Pelican Cargo BX140R. Centauri Outdoorsman XL. You notice there's a bunch of headroom you can have with it extended out. Pretty amazing. All right, down to the side here is the H3R Performance Fire Extinguishers. I have one for the outside and interior. Demo Sh Pro Shovel, very stealthy. These are the JW Off-Road Molly side mounts. Continuing on to the wrap, here are my sponsors. All right, so now we can go into the inside real quick. The GX has the red interior F Sport interior
shift power, beat sonic, throttle control module, Kuruma shift knob, here is the Midland MXT series radio along with the mic right here. S-Pod Bantam X, I'm running two units. I'll be showing you guys how that works shortly here. These are all mounted by the Ohana Rig Supply bracket. I have the captain's panel, another Baja Designs item right there. That's a must right here, this cooler. I love that. More comms, gear, more Midland. All right, go back here. This GX is also equipped with captain seats. Pretty cool. Here are the back headrests with the Pelican ruck cases. Some more equipment here. And these straps right here are mighty kills. All right, now down to the back, we have more Baja designs. These are S2s for the rear chase. And then you'll notice the Baja designs RTL right there. Power tank being all held by the Nash Fab Co 2.0 ladder. Yes, that is a Rotopax gasoline with the AI-13 billet cap. Not a lot of people know about that. You should go get one. I love this ladder. It's super modular. It goes along with the rack design while maintaining the sturdiness. Here in the back we have the fifth wheel spare. Toyo tires. My matching spare for the Rays VV21SX wheel. Here we have the Dirtcom swing out along paired with the 4122 hitch slider. I'm going to swing this out for you guys so you can see. Here's another Rotopack storage unit which I keep my more flat. Now we have the front runner table bolted onto the dirt com swing out. Pure 4x4. Adams polishes. In the bottom you'll see the Another DRK DSS component. Icon adjustable rear track bar. KDSS spacers. Rago shot guards in the rear. Here's more of that tent. It's super, super big inside. You could definitely fit at least three people in there, especially because of the headroom. Now down to this side here, we have the X Ventures diesel heater in the Pelican vault case. Super rad right there. Carvin exhaust, Carvin R series, dirt scum bezel, dirt scum tip, along with the anodized hardware as well all right let's get to more some good stuff here I'm gonna open the back here you'll see side molly mounts along with more gear and here we go one of the main pieces to the back Aiden James customs gear plate 
along with their dual drawer custom powder coated gun metal metallic gray I love these drawers so much they hold so many things and it's definitely a must to have organizing all your gear we have some Spartan rope recovery gear tools some more stuff <laughs> some rock guards Baja designs um, more flat compressor a lot of recovery stuff things you'll definitely need here is one of the biggest highlights to the vehicle is the Bantam X S pod unit in the rear we did this for SEMA and here showcases the Bantam X S pod in the back peeking so you could see the board along with the HD touch unit and what's cool about this one is if you can see there I don't know if you can see it but it's actually being lit up by a Baja Designs rock light it's so awesome super rad here you'd be able to showcase and use all your lights when you're camping so sides rear rock lights everything and the best part about it is this can be linked and daisy chained to the front touch panel over there and shout out to my boys at s pod and baja designs we killed it at SEMA this year. More of that Baja Designs goodness right there. Here's the tent. All right, so I'll leave that open. You can still see it's captain chairs back there. So right now it's definitely a true four seater. And I don't mind that because I like it like that. All right, now to the side over here. You'll see more of the tent exposed. Pretty good sized tent. All right, here, more of the rut case. Pelican 1510 case, that's for the camera gear. My boys at Pelican. JP and Co. Thank you guys. More of that good small Miku. Allied Wraps did this whole thing, so they did a really good job. It's a whole digital print. It's not layered in person. It looks amazing. It's like an art piece. More detailed items. Under the hood, I have a AFE power intake. And matter of fact, let's pop the hood. Let's do that. All right. Here we go. Back to the front. VR Evo winch. Factor 55 components in the front. Thank you to you guys. Here we go. Under the engine bay. AFE power GT momentum intake. Optima battery. Yellow top. And here is the front Bantam X S pod. Shout out to Aiden James Customs. They were sole responsible for all of the wiring in this vehicle. And man, they did a heck of an amazing job. Scott, it is so clean. Man. That is my walk around for the vehicle. Hey everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed that walk around video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Shout out to absolutely everyone that's been a part of this build. We're looking forward for 2023. I'm excited for absolutely everything that's about to endure. And you guys have a wonderful Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.